Waheguru ji ki fateh ji. My name is Maninda Ko and my partner name is Durga. I have been learning Gurmat Sangeet Kirtan since I was 10 years old. Today, we will be presenting the topic about significance of rags. So let's talk about what are rags. Rags is a set of notes in a specific groove, building a melody which can ignite a certain mood or emotion in the reciter and listener. There are 62 rags in the Guru Granth Sahib, 31 Shuddha rags and 31 Mishrat rags. Each rags unique character brings out specific emotions in a listener and rags have their specific such as one notes in aro and avro which the ascending and descending orders prohibited notes equally important to the ones that are present pakar tat muk ang komal shuddha tivar notes timing of usage which usually follows the seasons time of the day Next, we have the 31 Shuddha Rags. There, there are 31 Shuddha Rags in Guru Granth Sahib Ji. The first one is Rag Siri. The second one is Rag March. All the way to the 31st Shuddha Rag, which is Rag Jai Jai Vanti. Next, we have 31 Mishrat Rags. The first Mishrat Rags is Rag Gauri Gwarari. The second one is Rag Gauri Dakhani. All the way we have until Rag Prabhati Dakhani. Now I will pass on to my partner Durga. Thank you so much, my dear. So, all this while you have been looking at the theoretical uh, aspects of a certain rag, what it consists of. So this could be the tad, this could be the ankh or the muk. So now let us look at a more practical approach where we'll be having one shabbat, but exposed within three different rags. So the shabbat that we have chosen is Jagrata, Jyot Chate, Nisabhasa. And this shabbat is actually written by Guru Gobind Singh Ji. Now while listening to the three variations of the three rags that we are about to show you, please try to perhaps make a conscious decision to, and an effort to feel the difference between the three variations. So was there a different emotion that you felt during each variation? Was one variation more relatable? Was it more emotional for you? Or did you prefer the sound of a certain drug? And lastly, were you able to identify the difference between the notes? So firstly, we have Rag Bilawal. Rag Bilawal is a rag that is usually sung in the morning and it conveys the emotions of great happiness that comes from having attained the goal. It might not necessarily have uh, a certain reason or it could have a certain purpose, but sometimes you just feel like laughing out loud, you feel happy for no reason at all. And this is the rag that would convey such an emotion. And let us now look at the song. We have Rag Bhero. So Rag Bhero is more of a somber rag where it embodies the soul's faith and heartfelt devotion towards the creator. So if you were under meditation, the emotions that would be conveyed through this rag would be that of steadfast belief or faith. And the soul is actually relaying the happiness that the mind could potentially experience if it was joined within a devotion. So if you find yourself or your attention wavering, this rag would be a perfect rag for you to sit down and have some uh, devotion. Thank you. 
And the last rab that we have today would be the rab tukari. So the form of tukari is that of a sidingly sitting jogi. And in the nature of this rab, you can see the pangs of separation. So there are highs and there are lows. Even though there is no reference to this rab in any ancient, medieval, or contemporary text, and neither have they have there been any references in Indian music or from any musicians in any karanas, it is believed that Guru Nanak Dev Ji composed this rab. So it's something that is very personal to the Gurmat Sangeet. So, like what you have just witnessed, the three different rags were composed within the same shepherd. However, there was a very audible and a very visible difference in the three emotions. And that actually brings me back to the question of whilst listening, were you able to find a different emotion? So personally, my favorite, even though that would be very, um, like it wouldn't be very biased of me, but my favorite always be the lava because like the rag had composed or the rag had actually explained itself. It was just a sudden burst of uh, happiness and it makes you feel good after a long day of work, perhaps or after a long day of study. But then again, rag bearer would probably make it more more easier for us to concentrate on something. So if I was trying to concentrate on a certain Shabbat, or if I was trying to concentrate on my devotion towards the ultimate creator, at that point of time, Rag Bhairav would actually be a much more relevant Rag for me. And this is explained beautifully within all three Rags. So Rags might seem complex when you see it from a third person's perspective or when you see it with an overview, but it is amazing how minute changes can mean a great difference in the Shabbat. So for an example, we have Shud notes and we have Tivar and uh, notes on, and these notes would actually create a difference between the shabbats and it would create a difference between the singing when we have it from up and down. There might be a sharp note, there might be a flat note. So just like how rags mean color, every note within a rag also has a color of itself. So just like how every color in this world has its purpose, the notes within a rag also has its purpose and there is never a note or never a rag that is unnecessary. A rag paves way for emotions within the shabbat. It enhances the feeling of the shabbat and it gives more depth and meaning to the words sung within the Shabbat. So reading is different in any ways. A recital would be different. A song would be different. And the whole differentiation between this is enhanced through a rag. To conclude, the differentiation or the importance of a rag rather would be summarized by just one point. Rags are always specified at the beginning of each Shabbat by our gurus in the Guru Granth Sahib, which itself shows the importance of rags. Therefore, may we realize the significance of rags in our Guru Granth Sahib and may we indulge in devotion through them. Wahe Guruji ka khalsa, Wahe Guruji ka khalsa. Ki fateh.